like testing it. So oh, okay, so we're good. Under the Bulldog Read CSDB Class of 2023, three sets of computer-generated hands cheer at the bottom of the screen, and fireworks burst all around the screen. J. 
Jamie Kala Kahuman, Colorado Springs. A close-up picture of Jamie smiling and looking at the camera fades into Jamie's senior picture of him standing outside in front of a building. Isaac Chandler, Colorado Springs. A baby picture of Isaac with his thumb in his mouth fades into a picture of him as a toddler sitting on the floor, which fades into Isaac's senior picture, a close-up of him standing next to a building. Shamari Hampton, Colorado Springs. A toddler picture of Shamari smiling at the camera fades into a close-up picture of her as a child with yellow flowers next to her face, which fades into Shamari's senior picture of her standing outside with a tree in the background. Daisy Martin, Colorado Springs. A baby picture of Daisy sitting in a wagon fades into a picture of her smiling at the camera while sitting in an audience which fades into Daisy's senior picture of her looking up while leaning on a tree that is behind her. Skyla Walsh, Aurora. A baby picture of Skyla with a stuffed frog that is a little bigger than her fades into a close-up picture of her as a toddler standing in front of a car, which fades into Skyla's senior picture of her laughing outside. Screen transitions to a computer-generated image of a red graduation cap lands on a bulldog's head. Grad Congratulations, CSDB class of 2023. And fireworks burst all across the screen. The screen now reads, CSDB graduation 2023 with a graduation cap. Cease to be color guard, enter the gym, and go to stand on the north and south sides of the audience. They are followed by two junior students. Carly Perez Mesa and Sergio Andre Tapia.
graduates now begin to enter the gym one by one through the south doors. They are greeted by interim superintendent Tara Spangler at the entrance. Jamie Kahumban. Jamie is walking to his seat at the front row in front of the stage. Isaac Chandler touches the bulldog and walks to his seat in the front row. Mariah Gonzalez is hugging and posing for a picture with interim superintendent Tara Spangler. She touches the bulldog on the wall and walks to her seat in the front row. Shamari Hampton goes to touch the bulldog and walks to her seat in the front row. Daisy Martin is posing for a picture with Tara Spangler. She touches the bulldog's paw and walks to the seat in the front row through the audience. Skyla Walsh is with Interim Superintendent Stara Spangler and a guide. They're showing her where the bulldog paw is. She pats his paw. And she is being guided through the audience to her seat in the front row. Jamie Lugo and Kristen Huddleston walk behind the seniors. Jennifer Thompson, interim superintendent Tara Spangler, Ida Wilding, and our class speaker, Isaac, not our class speaker, our guest speaker, Ryan Commerson. Oh, Principal Lugo and Principal Huddleston skipped their way up to the stage. This is Tara signing. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Shamari Hampton will be singing, and Mariah Gonzalez will be signing. Shamari and Mariah make their way up to the stage. On the screen, you see Mariah on the north side of the stage and Shamari on the south side. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous fight O'er the ramparts we watch We're so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled 
Mariah and Shamari exit the stage, and Interim Superintendent Tara Spangler is standing at the podium. Distinguished guests, members of the community, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and most importantly, the extraordinary graduates of the Colorado School for the Deaf and the Blind. It is my honor to welcome you the 2023 graduation celebration. Today is a day of celebration, achievement, and pride. As the interim superintendent, I stand here so filled with immense pride. I look at the seniors and your amazing successes. It has showed your determinations, resilience, and your incredible journey. Your years here at CSDB, I have seen growth in each and every one of you, not only academically, but I have also seen your ability to self-advocate. You've demonstrated determination and independence. I have seen you become champions for yourselves, not only for yourselves, but as, as well as your peers and the broader community. Some of you started here when you were itty bitty. Some were three years old in preschool. I vividly remember some of you from your early preschool days. But regardless if you started here at the beginning or later, I have seen each of you transform into incredible adults that you are today. Your time here at CSDB, you have shown me that success is defined by your ability to adapt and harness your unique strengths, your ability to navigate the world when at times the world doesn't seem to understand your unique, your, your uniqueness. It's simply amazing. I've seen you face challenges and make them become opportunities and possibilities and a learning opportunity as well. My advice to you, uh, continue cherishing your identity, advocate for yourself and for others. And when you see an opportunity, seize it. And learning opportunities. Learning and growth, it's not done today. They continue through your life. Your journey will require you to explore, learn, and grow. Today, when you walk across this stage, you will become an alumni, alumni of CSDB. Now remember, you are not alone. You will forever be a part of CSDB, the deaf and blind community. You will never be alone. It's your second home forever. Together, we will continue to advocate for accessibility, equity, and help you recognize your unique abilities that are inside of you that you all have. We will continue to support you and be your champion. Congratulations to the class of 2023. I hope your future is full of enjoyment, fulfillment. I hope you learn as if you are to live forever. I am proud of each and every one of you. Thank you, graduates. I would like to recognize the Board of Trustee members that are in the audience today. We have 
Miss Megan Claussen. Do you mind standing, Megan? She's standing on the Thank south you. side. Thank you. Thank you for your service. We also have our Board of Trustees President, Ida Wildling. She is a teacher at UCCS. She teaches ASL classes at the college level, and also she is pursuing her PhD in deaf education, leadership, research, and policy. Please help me welcome Ida Wideling. She stands from the back of the stage where she was seated. She gives the crowd a wave. Hello, everyone. I'm so happy to see everyone here. Wow, congratulations to you seniors. You're graduating today. That's amazing. The board just wants to share how immensely proud of you we are. And also, we are look forward to seeing what you all do next. Regardless what you do, always do your best, OK? Again, congratulations to you all. I don't know, takes her seat back at the back of the stage. And interim superintendent. This is Tara signing. Now it is my honor to welcome our senior class speaker. This young man started here at CSDB when he was a sophomore. When he first came to C CSDB, he was a little unsure. He had some trepidations, but that didn't continue. If, a cha if he was confronted with a challenge, he accepted it with vigor and pushed himself further. He is an outstanding advocate for himself. Please help me welcome Isaac Chandler, our 2023 class speaker. Isaac walks up to the stage. Oh, can I even be? Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Um, geez. So hello here to the staff, students, and parents, of course. Um, before I start this speech, I just want to let it be known, for those who don't know, that this speech was a collaboration between me and Jamie Kahumban. So without further ado, let me tell you a little something here about CSDB. So imagine for a second that you were surrounded by nothing but blindness, or not blindness, darkness, of course. And you're nervous. While the heart is pounding in your chest, you're shaking in your boots, absolutely terrified. Why? At the thought of talking to the person at the underside of the counter. You want to get the assistance because you really need the assistance, but you absolutely hate the idea of communicating with a complete stranger. And fortunately for you, stepping out of your comfort zone is one of the most important things here at CSDB. But what is a comfort zone? Well, for those of you out there who don't know what that is, think of it as this little bubble surrounding you. And it's this nice safe space that you really like and enjoy. And it's this nice safe space that the teachers will proceed to pop every chance they get. AKA, politely, but firmly, telling you to converse with the bus driver or the cashier, or stand here on stage telling people how great of a time you had at CSDB. But don't get me wrong, I'm doing this of my own accord. But keep in mind that in the beginning of my time here, you would never catch me on stage. My first week here, I was walking around with my hood up, not too big on conversation, until I got used to the people around here, who were very talkative, mind you, and I <laughs> learned to love it here. And eventually, the most horrifying thing ever happened to me. A teacher came to me, and told me, all right, it's time to put the hood down and get ready for an interview. And this terrified me to my core. I hated the idea. And soon after that, it led to even more teachers telling me to leave the comforts of my hood. And now I'm here, a kid with social anxiety, strolling up here on stage to scream congratulations to all the seniors here for now moving successfully into adulthood. Yes, thanks to this magnificently magnificent place, uh, we all get to 
bolt through those doors, slam them wide open, and start shouting, yeah, I'm independent now. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> yep, the hood is down, and it, it feels great. It feels pretty good. When I was being pushed out of my comfort zone, I was told that I would be thanking you later, and now I am. Thanks to all of the teachers here for um, encouraging us and pushing us out of our comfort zones. Thank you to all the parents for having our backs on this long trip. And thanks for all the students for cooperating with one another on this grand adventure. It's been a pleasure, but it's time for me to burst out of the bubble and go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Isaac gives interim superintendent Tara Spengler a hug and exits the stage. Interim superintendent Tara Spengler comes up to the podium. This is Tara signing. It is my honor to recognize our 2023 salutatorian, and that's Jamie Kala Kahumba. Please stand, Jamie. Jamie stands in the front row with the seniors and gives a little wave to the audience. Jamie sits back down. Now it is my honor to welcome our 2023 class valedictorian. This young lady started here at CSDB when she was three years old. She grew up here. I remember her when she was three years old. She has been involved with an endless amount of activities, athletics, volleyball, basketball, the academic bowl, student body government, the list goes on and on. Please join me in welcoming Mariah Gonzalez, yeah. senior of valedictorian. Mariah walks up to the stage. Communicating with Tara Spangler, goes up to the podium. Hello. I appreciate you, all of you being here, students, staff, family. Everyone has made an impact on the seniors here today. We are the 2023 graduating class. My name is Mariah. I've been here since 2008. I've had some tough years in high school. I thought I might just give up on my high school journey. It has been really hard for me to keep fighting and to keep battling the things I've been going through. And now I am here, I am here today. I wanna start with my freshman year here. So the first day I come in, I'm so excited. It's high school, I'm ready to go. I've got a lot of friends. I'm having such a good time. And then kind of as it progresses, I remember at some point everything just changes. I mean, life changes. You know, when people say, hey, you know, people grow, people change, but you have to just remember those good times, cherish those good times. And I wanna share one moment. So I worked at Nothing Bunt Cakes and I brought some cupcakes here for my friends. We all sat down at the table, enjoyed them. Everyone was so happy. That's actually one of my moments that I just cherish, one of my favorite times. Seniors here, I want to let you know to please just remember all the good times here, cherish all the memories we've had here. And you know, we want to get our high school diplomas. I know that, I'm gonna stop, stop, stop talking soon here. But I am proud of myself, I'm proud of my fellow seniors. It's been a long time, you know, that we wanted to reach this goal of graduation and we are here. Also, I want to say thank you to my family for being here with me today, celebrating. I love you, I do, and we did it for my beautiful guardian angels, Grandpa and Nina. We did it. <laughs> and
and mom, I want to tell you thank you for everything that you have. You've shown me how to be strong all of these years. I'm ready to close this chapter here and open a new one. And we're going to do it together, mom. I love you. All the teachers, the staff, thank you so much for all of your support. And I am cherishing all of those good times I've had with you. Seniors, family of the seniors here, thank you for coming and celebrating with us today. Are you ready to graduate, seniors? Are you ready? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Mariah hands off papers to Tara Spangler. Tara Spangler comes up to the podium. Now our amazing Bulldog Band will perform I Lived. And it will be signed by Santiago Aguirre. Skyla Walsh and Shamari Hampton, two of the graduates, and Jamie Cajumban go to join the Bulldog Band at the north side of the gym.
students are returning to their seats. Interim Superintendent Tara Spangler is back at the podium. This is Tara signing. Now it is my honor to introduce our 2023 guest speaker. He was born in Michigan. He has his master's degree in cultural studies. And as soon as he finished that, he immediately moved to Colorado and he's been there since. He works at Sorensen Communications. And he just changed jobs this week before he was the vice president of marketing, and now he's transitioned this week in the position of competitive intelligence strategist. If he's not working, he loves the mountains. He loves hiking, running, climbing, biking, and he, is, uh, he enjoys free heel skiing. He's a filmmaker, activist, philosopher, and he dedicates every day to change the perception of deaf people. It is my pleasure to welcome Mr. Ryan Commerson. Kara Spangler, take your seat at the back of the stage. Ryan Commerson is being assisted with a higher podium. He's very tall. Thank you for that. Thank you, Tara. Good morning, everyone. Um, it's an exciting day. It is such a special day for all of you graduates and for the rest of you here as well. I work as a corporate executive, and I have been trained to show up with a very clear agenda that is simultaneously succinct and substantial. I'm going to start with three things. I have a confession to share, a declaration to make, and a graduation speech to deliver. First of all, my confession is that I feel the pressure to do a good job. My partner works here. So I do need to impress you all. The stakes are high. <laughs> so I don't embarrass her. I have a declaration to make. I did not use chat GPT to write my speech. <laughs> <laughs> Just so that you're aware, chat GPT, as long as you're familiar with that. If you're not, check that out. Students, it's chat GPT. It's AI. It's the new technology. You can type in your ideas, and it will send you it will write your paper for you, something I wish I didn't tell you now. <laughs> the students who are. Still have questions? Ask your teachers. Principals are all <laughs> shaking their head no. <laughs> and now, the delivery. In this message, I want to highlight three key takeaways. The first one is that it really only does take one person to make a difference. Secondly, words are meaningless. It only has power when we give them power. And thirdly, everything matters. Everything matters. Graduation in 2023 is a special day for 3,388,680 students around the country. The honor goes to 4,007,908 teachers who come to work every day making sure that students are prepared to leave the comforts of their nest and leave and go back into the world. The gratitude goes to six million parents, caregivers, who have brought these children into the world, clothed them, fed them, taken care of them, taught them the difference between right and wrong, taught them cause and effect, and hopefully discipline.
That is a lot of big numbers. And the reason I shared those with you is that all of us feel that we are only one sitting here. I am one person. There are 8 billion people on earth. But it only takes one person to make a difference. One person to invent electricity. One person to find a cure for a disease. One person to run a marathon. One person to bake a tray of cookies. Personally, I love cookies. You may feel small because you are only one person. You may feel insignificant, but you are not. If you think about all of the feats that thousands of people around the world have accomplished, each and every one of those people is just one person. You may know a name, and that is the name of an individual person. The work of one person makes a difference everywhere around the world. I hope this helps remind you that one single person, do you realize how much power each one of you has? Each and every person in here, each of you graduates, you have power to make a difference. Now, immediately, maybe some of you start thinking, yes, but I'm blind, but I'm deaf. The world sees me and says that I can't do things. You may think, yes, but I am whatever, fill in the blank. Somewhere, somehow, along your life, someone has told you that you can't do something. And you believed them. Oh, they said I can't do that. I guess I can't. You have internalized that. I am here to tell you that words are just words. Words mean nothing. The word blind, it's just a word. Deaf is just a word. They mean nothing. Now, of course, we have a collective agreement on what a single word means. On the other hand, you decide 100%. You are free to decide who you are. You define yourself to the world. Own it. Completely own your self-definition. For myself, I am deaf. Growing up, I was told, oh, you're deaf. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't hear. You can't think. You're dumb. I got that message frequently growing up. I got it everywhere. Today, I am responsible for developing and leading strategy planning for an almost $700 million corporation. How did I get here? Why did I get here? Because my mother decided that the word deaf means nothing. Instead, she focused, she raised me to believe in myself and my worth. She raised me to believe in myself. My mother decided that, and that had a great impact on me. And I want to share my mother's wisdom with you today. With you graduates, words mean nothing. You decide what words mean to you. Lastly, I want to drive home a new essential point here. Do you know what happens the moment you start to believe in yourself? In that moment, you say, yes, I believe in myself. In that moment that you decide that you matter,
that you matter to yourself and to the world. When you say, I have self-worth, I can contribute to the world. In that moment, it is a magical moment. And it's magic because at that exact moment when you decide that I believe in myself, I matter, that moment is when your brain recognizes simultaneously to begin to acknowledge that everything else matters. Everything, even the mundane things that we do, the daily stuff like washing your car. My car needs a bath. I'm going to wash it. That matters. I matter. I want to keep a clean car. It matters because you decide that you mattered. Keeping your room clean, showing up to work on time, getting up early to work out. Friends, coworkers, taking the time to resolve issues between them, all of that normal life stuff. Take action on those things because you understand that you matter and therefore everything else around you has value too. Okay, where is the magic? That magic is when you start believing in yourself and you start taking action. Because the stuff in life, when you complete those things along the way, that adds up to success. I show up to work on time, that contributes to success. I resolve problems with other people, those little successes along the way, the more you believe in yourself, the more you value things, the more successful experience you have, that is magic because the more and more successes you experience, the more things you complete, the more success, those are compounding effects. It is exponential. Think about that for a minute. Let it sink in. So today matters. Today matters. Today we are celebrating the senior class of 2023. Today we are also showing profound gratitude for everyone here, teachers, dorm supervisors, parents, caregivers, everyone who has invested in these students' lives. Thank you, everyone. And graduating seniors, my message to you is that you will experience self-doubt. You are going to face challenges along the way. You absolutely will. That's part of life. However, remember, remind yourself, you are powerful. When you recognize that, your gift to the world shows up when you believe in yourself. You are a gift. Get business done. That gift is going to have a lasting effect. You will contribute to the world in big ways. Join me in congratulating them. Mr. Ryan Commerson takes his seat back at the back of the stage. Interim Superintendent Terry Spangler comes back up to the stage. They switch to a smaller podium. Jennifer Thompson. I'm Jennifer Thompson. I'm the Interim Supervisor or Director for Curriculum and Assessments. and Assessments. And I am here to tell these students that these seniors have completed their requirements for graduation and are now ready to receive their diplomas. This is Tara signing. Seniors, are you ready? All right. One last comment to make and then we're off. The power invested in me by the state of Colorado I pronounce the following seniors graduated from the Colorado School for the Deaf and the Blind.
principals Jamie Lugo and Kristen Huddleston come up to the stage. Class of 2023 salutatorian, Jamie Kalau Kahumban, Colorado Springs. stage. She, he shakes hands. <laughs> Jamie's shaking the hand of Tara Spangler and coming across the stage to Miss Jennifer Thompson, shaking her hand, now Miss Kristen's hand, and here I am for a big hug. Oh, congratulations. Hey, Jamie stands facing west, turns tassel from right to left and is exiting the stage south side. Isaac Michael Jean Chandler, Colorado Springs. Isaac's approaching the north side of the stage and is shaking the hands of our board members and of our speaker, also of Ms. Tara Spangler. He's accepting his diploma from Miss Tara, walking across to Miss Jennifer Thompson, shaking her hand, then Miss Kristen Huddleston's, and then here I am. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's giving me a big hug and he's turning west, he's turning his tassel from right to left, giving a wave to the crowd and exiting south. What is that? Is that Corey? Class of 2023. Valedictorian, Mariah Maricela Gonzalez, Fountain. Mariah's approaching the stage. Mariah shaking the hand of Miss, giving Miss Tara a big hug, accepting her diploma. Coming across the stage to Miss Jennifer Thompson, big hug. Also a hug for Miss Kristen Huddleston. And a hug to me. And she's turning west, facing west, tassel from right to left, and an I love you sign to the crowd. Shamari Janelle Hampton, Colorado Springs. Shamari's approaching the stage from the north side. She's shaking the hands of Miss Ida Wildeen, Miss Tara Spangler, giving her a big hug, accepting her diploma. She's walking across the stage to Miss Jennifer Thompson for a hug, <laughs> Miss Kristen Huddleston for a hug. Better give her a hug. <laughs> and here's, oh, she gives me a handshake. <laughs> and then a big hug. You better give me a hug. <laughs> Turning west, <laughs> tassel from right to left. Yeah. <laughs> and the crowd goes wild, exiting the south side of the stage. <laughs> Daisy May Martin, Colorado Springs. <laughs> Daisy's approaching the stage. She's walking up the steps on the north side. She's taking the hands of our class, of our speaker, of Ida Wilding, of Tara Spangler, giving her a hug and accepting her diploma. Walking across the stage to Miss Jennifer Thompson for a hug. <laughs> Miss Kristen Huddleston for a hug. <laughs> to hug, handshake, whatever. Ryan, I get a hug too. <laughs> She's turning west. Tassel. You're good, you're good. From right to left. And a wave to the crowd. All right. Skyla K. Walsh. Aurora. <laughs> Aurora. Sorry. She's walking up the stage. Skyla's walking with Miss Robin. Shaking the hand of our speaker, of Miss Ida Wilding, of Miss Tara Spangler, and accepting her diploma. There she goes. 
She's walking across the stage more to be congratulated by Miss Jennifer Thompson, <laughs> Miss Kristen Huddleston, <laughs> Miss Jamie Lugo. Hi. And you're going to turn, she's turning west, taking her tassel from the right to the left. Yes, Skyla. Everyone's cheering. Skyla's smiling. Do you want your hands up? Your hands are up in the air. <laughs> she did it, folks. <laughs> All right. And Skyla exits the stage on the south side. Tara Spangler goes back up to the podium at the front of the stage as Skyla takes her seat. This is Tara signing. It is my honor to present to you the graduates of Colorado Spring for the School for the Deaf and the Blind, the class of 2023. Please stand. Grad graduates all stand and cheer. The camera zooms in on the row of graduates. And now they're all hugging each other and congratulating each other. Tara Spangler. This is Tara signing. To the family and the staff, you are welcome to find your graduates and congratulate them on their accomplishments and thank you all for coming. Thank you all, I'll be around to collect headsets. <laughs> <laughs> 